Hi there, this is the second example of my little centroid problems. And right here, I, I know it's probably not very good scaling for my pictures, but um, let's just find essentially the centroid of this little trapezoid kind of shape where you have, uh, you know, you, essentially what would look like a triangle and a rectangle. This is more simple than the other one, but I just wanted to kind of include a, a unique shape. So what we can do is I'm just going to label this one 1 and this one 2, and we can kind of work at it that way. The area of 1 is going to be uh, base times height divided by 2, so that will be 60 times 75 divided by 2, which will be uh, 2, 2, 5, 0. Oh whatever the units are. Then, for area 2, you're going to find 105 times 75, which is 7875. Once again, whatever the units are. Thus, our x bar will equal, it will be Let's start off with just the uh, little triangle here. We know that from our our little table sheet that it is two thirds towards the base. So since if we were to consider this, this is the peak and the base going this route towards the right, then it would be essentially two thirds of this 60. It would be two-thirds from the 60, or one-third up from the right-hand side of the triangle. Thus, it would be 40 times the area of the triangle. Now, just in case you lost me there, um, right where this point is, this circle point, um, that's where our point of reference will be. So, the center of that triangle is going to be two-thirds away from the peak. And if you look at the table, you'll see that um, when you say one-third the height, that is just like saying one-third from the bottom. Or another way of looking at it would be two-thirds from the top. So just so you know. All right, plus then our distance here, we have, first off, we jump the first 60 units, then we go halfway through the 105. So 105 divided by 2. And what you realize is that turns out to be around 112.5 as the distance. Then you have 7875 as our weight or area or whatnot. Therefore, then you just say divided by the total weight or area, which would be 10,125. Okay, so if you work that out, what it turns out to be is 96.38 units, which, if you think about it, that would be 46 units into this rectangle. So not quite, you know, not not halfway, but but pretty close to it. Okay, so let's find out what y bar is then. Using the same techniques, you find that uh, only one third up the triangle is the centroid. So um, one third of seventy is going to be twenty-five, or seventy-five. One third of seventy-five is going to be twenty-five times the weight plus what I would consider 37.5 times 78.75 which will equal, oh wait, nope, we all have to divide it by 10, 1, 2, 5, okay? And if you do that, that'll equal, whoops, that will equal 
34.7 units, whatever that is, whatever units we used. So thus, really, you have to ask yourself, okay, well, what does that look like? And uh, if you just draw yourself a quick little picture, you realize that um, what that's saying is that it's 46 units in, so here would be the center of the rectangle, and here would be the center of the triangle. You can kind of see that this 46 is probably going to be pulling us somewhere along this vicinity. And then you also have your 34 height, which is very close to the center of this, because you realize that there's not really much of a difference between the triangle and the rectangle's um, center of gravity. So it just, you can see that the, even though the, the weight differences are fairly comparable, uh, the distance isn't that great. So, so just below, so I would say probably somewhere along here, so you'll find that it just shifts barely off of the greater mass, and that's, and that's a pretty common trend that you'll find. So anyway, um, let me do one more problem, and it'll be kind of some unique shapes.